happen. Well, Iran's state-run TV is reporting that five British embassy staff detained in Tehran have been released. Sarah Walker has details. <laughs> Sarah. Well, Chris, the members of the embassy were detained yesterday for what Iranian media reported was their considerable role in post-election riots. And the Foreign and Commonwealth officers, although several of those employees have since been released, some remain in custody. There is confusion about how many actually were detained in the first place. Early reports indicated eight people had been arrested. That was changed to nine this morning. Now, Iran has repeatedly accused foreign powers, especially Britain and the United States, of stoking the unrest that has swept the country since those elections on June the 12th, which, of course, handed President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad a decisive victory. Well, the EU issued a joint statement demanding Iran abide by international rules protecting local employees and release all those arrested. And the UK Foreign Minister, David Miliband, he denounced the arrest as intimidation. This is harassment and intimidation of a kind which is quite unacceptable. These are hard-working diplomatic staff. The idea that the British Embassy is somehow behind the demonstrations and protests that have been taking place in Tehran in recent weeks is wholly without. Meanwhile, Iran's top election body, the Guardian Council, has begun a partial recount of ballots cast in that disputed election. State-owned Al Alam TV saying 10% of the ballot boxes are being looked at. I can tell you we've had breaking news that uh, a meeting between the Guardian Council and representatives of Mir Hussein Massar, the opposition candidate, said it was not positive. Chris. Thank you so much.